Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight, well, back with the Silent Two Critic, and time for another musical review. Tonight, oh, we got some French baguettes coming out. We got Les Miserables. So yeah, let's play the rest of the free new one with Hugh Jackson, Russell Crowe. Um, I'm just gonna let this review speak for itself, or in this case, sing. So let's just get into it. We got a long one. Be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. Currently, this was 2013, if I remember correctly. Wrong, sorry. Go. Oh. It is a crossover. Yep. Paul and Kyle. Got it this time, yeah. Yeah, the con. Oh. Here we go. Look down. Don't look I love cows in this the one screen. Though. We can't. We tried. tried. It's just, just too damn obscene. obscene. The singing's live. Whose bright idea was that? Hard to say. Probably, probably the, the guy, guy who gave Chavez that hat. hat. Come on, you guys. It's not that bad per se. But Russell Crowe. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. Look down, look That's down. Don't look, look right, right at, at the screen. screen. Hush up, you guys. It's Brentel Floss's scene. Tenants of room 24601. Your punishment has officially begun. You know what that means. Probably something good. Cut, 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 Why you going for Russell Crowe here, I'm buddy? Lost. Hey, what you doing? See, well, singing. Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's wonderful. I've actually been channeling Russell Crowe by listening to his latest album. And uh, I gotta tell you, he's changing the music world forever. Yeah, from good Ew. to bad. What? Quick meeting, everybody. That. Oh, oh, me too. <laughs> no! Oh. Not included. Stop it. How do we get rid of have him in the review? Do you think I don't know that? We have to get rid of him. It's like a musical Armageddon. The movie or the hey, event? Does it matter? Oh, I think I got an idea. Floss, we've been talking and we realized that we would like the role much better if you played it as Dr. Mario. We would? Shut up. Hmm? See how it ties in so much more to your With Lyrics series. Oh, well, that sounds awesome. I actually have a Dr. Mario costume with me right here. If only it were that simple. You see, we really want yeah. you to get in character, and that require you going to medical school. Well, how long Wait? does that take? Only a couple days. It does? Four years. If he does that again, you can shoot him. So go <laughs> ahead, Floss. Go in there and get your medical degree. Awesome. That's a great idea. Well... See you guys in a few days. Oh, and if anyone tells you otherwise, they're liars. Look. <sighs> and he's uh, gone. Shall we start this review properly? Why well, start now? A little bit. In 1862, Victor Hugo published his magnum opus, the it story of criminal turned saint Jean Valjean, with a title that can be roughly translated as The Miserable Ones, The Dispossessed, or even The Victims. Les Miserables was a worldwide commercial success, though initially a critical failure, with critics taking issue with the novel's many digressions, broad characters, and even, gasp, its revolutionary spirit. Sweeping <laughs> book sales, in the next century and What's a half, Les Mis again? would become multiple film adaptations, a TV miniseries, a radio drama, a fighting game, okay, Ow. and a musical, which, well, go ahead, Paul. The story of the 1832 June Rebellion in Paris was forever transformed in collective consciousness when Claude Michael Schoenberg and company decided that this tale would make a great musical and became known as one of the single greatest musicals of the late 20th century. Then Tom Hooper decided that this should become a blockbuster movie in 2012, and it became known as the single strangest execution of the 21st century, but, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Band well, scene, how we're all ladies fans, and how it mixes art house techniques. And musical techniques. We figured this would be the ideal combo. 
So let's see how some of the most celebrated music of all time is represented. Now, prisoner 246, oh, well, ah! your time is up and your parole's begun. Who let the kid going through puberty out of the glee club? And Ooh. I'm Javel. Do not forget my name. That's Russell Crowe playing Javert, a guard turned inspector who becomes obsessed with a prisoner named Jean Valjean, played by Hugh Jackman. And what terrible crime did Valjean commit to make him so obsessed? He stole a loaf, loaf of bread. bread. He did what? Inexcusable! In a time of rape and murder, bread stealing will not be tolerated! Hey, 1848. Oh. Have you ever had Aaron. French bread? No. No. Then you wouldn't understand. Well, to be fair, he had a reason for it, as we'll see, and if you hear in the song, the sister was starving, so pretty much had not a lot of choice to in the matter, because either that or the family starved, which, like, if that happened, I probably would have let that go, but again, it's France, 1848. They, I mean, then again, back in the 1700s, they kind of overthrew the king or will overbred. Not kidding. Remember, the prices went up, king's out. Anyway. Sister's child was close to death. See? We were starving. We'll starve again. And yes, it's almost pointless to talk about Russell Crowe's horrible singing, as he's already been the butt of so many jokes. I'm Yakko. I'm Wacko. And I'm Javier. So <laughs> But what way does Jackson's Russell Crowe's voice rub people the wrong way? Because in many respects, it's actually not as bad as you may think. Mm. Hear me out. When you get down to it, he's in tune. He knows how to phrase his melodies, but he's using a different style. He's trained in rock and folk, a subdued, naturalistic style. Musical theater is grand and stylized, and because of that, the that nature of the aesthetic off, makes it easy to spot a faker. On top of that, Crow oh. likes to use his acting method of, if I act like I don't care, maybe I can trick you to care. But oh, in boy. this film, all the other actors seem to have that pesky mind frame of wanting to emote and convey actual emotion. Oh, give me sir, I would not dare. We can't pretend all the actors sing great, especially when compared to the worse. stage versions. Say what you must, don't leave it there. But the acting still really pulls through. Like here, Correct. while on his parole, Jean Valjean can't find any work because of his past, but a priest, played by Colm Wilkinson, shows comfort to him. There is wine here to revive you. There is bread to make you strong. That's oh, Colm Wilkinson? Yeah. It can't be. Why not? I can understand him. He mean? usually sounds like Sean Connery if his lips were being stretched by a rice picker. Mm. The cries in the dark that nobody hears. Here where I stand at the turning of the years. I mean, shouldn't this be there? more like... There is wine here to revive you. There is bread to make you strong. You will leave that man alone. He is a musical yeah, I didn't treasure. make fun of him, he did. I will for now, Kyle, but my collection of Comb Wilkins and Funny Voices will not go untouched. So Valjean gets arrested for stealing silver from the priest, but the priest makes up a lie for Valjean, allowing him to be freed. This hits pretty close for our hero. So close, you can practically smell his breath. My life he claims for God above. Can such things be? Jesus, guy, take a few steps back. I can see the scenery you've been <laughs> chewing between your teeth. Yes, and the wide range of scenery is impressive, too. In front of the altar, Back to the hall, back to the altar again, I back to the hall. direction on this one. Well, you can't say the pacing in this movie is bad. No. No, no, no. It only works if I do it. Hey. Oh, no, no. Yeah, honestly, yeesh. Looking back, Jackman, not the best. Like, when I first reviewed this, this was before, like, The Greatest Showman, remember? So, yeah, you can definitely feel like this is Jackman's, like, First time singing. You know, not bad, but it definitely needs some improvement. Like I said, compare this scene to like him, you know, doing the whole to the other side, you know, in The Greatest Showman. Yeah, you can definitely hear the difference. Anywho. The story must Now that Valjean wants to break his parole and turn his life around, I'm sure a good chunk of the movie is going to be showing the process of its transformation from outcast fugitive to an everyday balanced citizen of France. Actually, he's the mayor in the next scene. 
Wait a minute. What, what? Yeah. Eight years what go by happen? and he's mayor. No, 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 no. Nobody yeah, just right. goes from runaway fugitive to being the mayor of an entire town. Yeah, it's usually the other way around. You're missing the point. The transformation could have been a movie all in of itself. And instead, the I movie just material sneezes it at us. I mean, just look at all these people suffering. Dead bodies, children starving. Why doesn't Bring somebody just say, come on, you lazy bastard, be mayor? You like stealing bread out of other people's mouths? That's politics in a nutshell. Well, maybe he's getting help from this sister that he mentioned earlier, who's not really no. in the film You got all. nothing, do you? Or her child. Or her child. Her child. And he or she grew up to become president, whatever, you know, how, that's how you You've do. got nothing. French people are presidents. Not so Javert, having transformed into Maximus Bonaparte, distracts Valjean's attention when he tries to settle a factory dispute. Deal with this foreman. I might have known the cat had claws. I might have guessed your little secret. This results in the factory worker, Fontaine, played by Anne Hathaway, being tossed out, while Valjean is congratulated by Javert for not being recognized by him. It seems to me we may have met. Your face is not a face I would forget. <laughs> forget. Way to bring in that Broadway training there, Hugh. Forget, forget, forget. So Fontaine goes into the cruel, cruel world, selling her hair, her teeth, and ultimately herself, so she can support her child. Why? <laughs> Hasn't she heard? She can be mayor in a jump cut! Hell, by the time this movie is over, she'll probably be the Queen of France! Next to Valjean's niece or nephew president! Put a sack in it. Okay. This leads to the big I Dream to Dream performance, and... Ben? It's, it's fantastic! fantastic. It's all done in one shot, it keeps the intimacy close, and Hathaway's voice and performance knocks it out of the park. The choice of moving the scene to after she becomes a prostitute, and not just after she loses her job, makes the moment all the more heartbreaking as well. Like it carries shades attack. of Falconetti as Joan of Arc. If the rest of the film were this passionate, we would not be doing this review. In fact, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone Amen. who wasn't blown away by this scene. Yes. Who the hell? I'll get it. me. All right, thanks, Kyle. How dare you do a musical review without me? The world oh, has to hear my angelic voice. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't you want to hear what I really thought about Anne Hathaway's performance? It's not that. Little late, buddy. Just, we already have enough reviewers. True. Kyle, deal with it. All right, bud. I might have known the cat had claws. I might have known the bitch could fight. I might have guessed your singing secrets. Okay, if you're going to insult me, don't do it in song. <laughs> Fine, I'll just say it's my turn to shine and shut the door on you. Ooh. Yeah, sorry, buddy. No dice. Think he'll be okay? Oh, he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah no I'll get over it. Yeah, for I dreamed I'd be in this review I was barely in the Moulin Rouge one I dreamed they'd give me stuff to do Unlike Bar Dugan's Muppet Scrooge one I'd critique and have to wait Got people freaked for her performance. She banged a hot thong in one take, like that's some impressive feat. Broadway actors do that nightly. Very much. I, kind of I dreamed of evening. I just. I uh, was grabbing my iPod. I, I, I'm not dude, trying dude, to do a one take. Shot, You're dude. doing like a dude, 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 dude. I dream a perfect lame film yeah. where yeah. Russell Crowe some smooth and groovy. <laughs> I dreamt the singers weren't so shrill, yeah. but then woke up and watched this movie. Sorry, I just kind of. Good? Yep. 
Get a coin! Sorry, all right? Yeah, dude. So Valjean? Yeah, I'll be real. If, if it is obvious that, well, yeah. <laughs> they had to just mess around with them. <laughs> Poor play car. Like, if I was trying not to do that, I would be like, okay. Redo. Don't bother us again. Or something. Yeesh. The car could not get through that without an interruption. Ouch. Anyway, moving along. Fontaine comes Fontaine. across Fontaine, looking radiant in her Smeagol makeup, and Good. feels guilty because he let his foreman throw her out. Yes, you were there. And turned aside. Yeah, how dare you left a situation you knew nothing about and then asked a guy to do the job he was required to do. Nevertheless, Which... Valjean does feel guilty and takes her to the hospital, where she tells him that she has a child who needs to be taken care of in case she dies. And then she dies. Probably dies. Boy, it wasn't that good timing. Sure, What's not good timing is that Javert discovers Valjean after he's confessed his true identity. Why did he do that? Well, because another man hell? was confused for him, so coincidentally being brought to the court on the same day, so the Valjean revealed himself in the courtroom as if Javert wasn't there, so the judge, for some reason, let him leave to go to the hospital where Javert caught up later. Odd? Oh, that old story. Huh. But Valjean escapes and vows to look after her daughter, Cosette who lives with Sasha Baron Cohen and Helena Bottom oh, Carter. Carter. Why didn't you use their character names? Because on, it's Sasha Baron Cohen Baron and Helena Bottom Helen Carter. Carter. That's who they it's always nice play. Tells a saucy tale, makes a little stir, <laughs> customers appreciate the ball we were. I find it extremely ironic that Cohen is doing an exaggerated French accent in a movie where everyone is French, yet everyone else in the movie has a British accent, despite the fact that Cohen is one of the few British people there. But they shake it up with some of the more offbeat humor, like, oh, like, oh God, are they raping Santa? Wouldn't that Probably, I don't know. be Father Christmas? I thought it'd be Père Noël. Who cares? They're I'm raping sure the French is, Santa. Well, maybe that was their way of making it a Christmas film. Again, I could just see Master the ads now. Les Miserables, a musical romp of death, starvation, and raping Santa. But why would they do something like that? Because it's Sasha Baron Cohen and Helena Bottom Carter. They're all about doing shock humor like that. Okay, that huh? is not the only reason. Malcolm, Malcolm, Rachel, what are you doing here? It's not just shock value that keeps them huh. getting hired. There's so much more. Like connections? What? Or what? When all the angst is too much to take, comic relief Here? can give you a break. That's when. But who to pick to shell out the laughs without appearing lame or half-assed? Ounce. When you need to fritz, seasoned and legit, both crazier than Perhaps. shit, there's one pick for Those it. Coins. Sasha Baron Cohen and Helena Bottom Carter Want to spare with crazy hair? Well, here's a starter Both a little nutty and often very slutty You want to see variety? Well, too bad, buddy No need for a big audition Needn't look all over town They can really phone it in when Mr. Button's not around Sasha Baron Cohen and Helena Bottom Carter Grab a costume and throw them in a room. They get a tacky giggle and the plot resumes. There's, There's no, no point, point in trying to hate them. them. They'll, They'll just, just come back with much more ardor. They become their own cliche. Pretty much. At least it gets some stable pay. So, so give a hearty what the hate today. The players known as Sasha Barry Cohen and Helena Bottom Carter. Sasha Barry Cohen and Helena Bottom Carter. I mean, you gotta give him credit. Like, when I think of the innkeepers, Sasha Baron Cohen and Helen Bonham Carter really play it well. And again, Carter, you know, actually did, you know, meet Todd, so she's got some experience. Well, that's a nine, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was just making sure I was thinking it right. But yeah, fair enough. What are you gonna do? Gotta love it. I mean, then when you think sleazy, I think these two. All right, uh, I'm not, you know, dissing their character, but come on. That's what they play usually, right? Anyway. Well, Valjean comes to on. take a Zed away, who seems to take the whole dead mother thing pretty well. I dare even say she it's tell? just glanced over. But 
To be fair, it was a part of life back then. You'd be happy to suddenly have Wolverine as your father, too. So much so that it calls for a song that they scotch taped onto the film just to get a Best Original Song nomination. Never more alone. Never more apart. You have warmed my heart like the sun. <laughs> Oscarvation, yeah. You have brought Oscar, the gift of life. They're just trying to see if it works. So long deny me. Valjean! But Javier what? spots the fleeing Valjean. And she Jeez, said, Valjean! Valjean! Javier! Am I leaving us alone? Fish! Not since I shook my head in a room with no lights on have I seen an action yeah. scene so well shot. But luckily, he is helped out by a person he saved from a runaway cart earlier. You saved my life, Monsieur Bouchelamon. We need a place of sanctuary, this child and I. We need, I need to disappear. We'll give thanks for <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the red I'm saying? Yeah, monsieur, we have to keep quiet. <laughs> you may not sing like this. <laughs> so Valjean escapes Javert, Cosette finds a new place to call home, and they live the rest of their days together. And that was Les Miserables, everybody. Man, they had a lot to cram uh, in there. We're not but done I yet. Critic, no, job, no, hey, critic, critic, critic. Not over yet, man. This is... That was barely the first third. The first really? third. They really? had enough story to fill Christopher Nolan for. Oh no, there's much. much, much more. Like Javert swearing an oath to the stars, even though ironically you can barely see barely the any. stars. Well, at the very least, this will give more time for the character to bloom. I mean, we can see and the connection between time his father and daughter and see how their relationship will evolve. Nope, next scene, she's a teenager and it's nine years later. Oh, come Damn. on! I thought this was supposed to be like the musical of emotion and feelings. It is well how it's passing over all the essential relationships and transformations that create drama you can do whole entire musicals based on one of the changes these characters go through but instead they squeeze well, each change into one yet. song and then dump in more characters and stories not needed why can't they just focus on the already heavy drop? characters and storylines that, that they have well they do while also throwing in marius eponine gavarol and algeras Four more characters with four more storylines to add to the jumble? Next you'll be Yeesh. telling me they're bringing back characters they already got rid of. <laughs> and... Praise Jesus Christ, as if we don't have enough! But that's all from the original stage show. Which is an adaptation of a book the size of the Bible. Critic does bring up a good point. Doing a film adaptation is tricky enough already, but this is a medium transfer from a medium transfer. You go from a book, oh, which audience is usually allowed to be as long as it wants, to a Broadway show, which audience is usually allowed to be three hours with an intermission, to a movie, which audience is usually allowed two and a half hours at most with no intermission. Exactly, if they want this adaptation to work, they had to make bigger changes without being afraid of the purest fan base. Whenever confrontation pops up, they shouldn't be expected to just run and hide. It's Brentle Floss. Run and hide! Run and hide! Hey guys, you were right. It is easy to become a doctor. I got my medical certification in just one day. How was that possible? Shh. Where'd you guys go? Oh wait, I should stay in character. Hey you guys, where are you? <laughs> I'm going to play the bear. I am here for that. Do not forget me. Do not forget my name. Two, three, six, oh one. Don't get out. Don't get out. Hmm. They don't seem to be here. Maybe they're in the lobby. Ow! We just left the door next time. Insert coming out of the closet oh. joke here. Oh. I'm good. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. But why would a vampire live in Sesame Street when Muppets don't have any blood? Oh, hey there. Why are you talking so funny? As you. Who are you talking so funny? I'm rehearsing for a musical review in room 24601, and I can't seem to find them. Goodbye. Hello, you guys. Where did you go? Musical review. Oh, incoming. Okay, so we have a pretty <laughs> okay, dark, realistic track. musical that has. Uh, sorry, I uh, thought I'd bring this up, but. I guess I haven't really thought of, like, splitting it up. Like, I don't know, but then this kind of story would be, like, yeah, a lot longer. I'm not sure how you'd, like, go about it. <laughs> it could be worse, I'll give him that, but. I was watching this, I was like, yo, uh, what out? Fish. Yay. Yeah, yeah.
Let's just keep going. There's gotta be more. Has tons of characters and story to develop. Yes, and they tackle it in the most gritty and realistic way. Marius and Cosette meet up and they instantly fall, fall in, in love. Fall in love. That's or stupid. Yeah, yeah, that is stupid. Not to mention the love triangle that generates between the two of them and Eponine. And let me guess, huh. the one that Who nobody one loves guy? is the one that has the most development. Pretty much. Yep. He was never mine to be. Wait, we're having two songs at the back? Are they not seeing like... Yeah, sorry, what sorry, right? guys. I mean, this this stuff dumb. just doesn't happen in real life. It's cheesy even on Broadway. When do two people see each other and then instantly fall in... Oh. Hey, I heard there was a musical review. Oh, hi. Yep, it's happening. In here. Hey, get a number. There is. It's, it's about Les Miserables. Oh yeah? What were you guys talking about? Talking about? How silly it is when people see each other in musicals and instantly fall in love. Like so? Yeah, that's ridiculous. It's weird. We're so used to hearing that kind of song. And yes. pretty much, when you think about it about logically, it. it's so obviously yeah. wrong. It can take so much time just to find a good guy. In real life, it can be really hard just to tell someone hi. But in a musical, courtships don't take long. Because in a musical, who cares about logic when people can break into song? Right. <sighs> in real life, there's no guy who can capture my heart with one glance. What is going plans. on here? In real life, how could <laughs> one chance encounter lead straight to romance? Wouldn't that be stupid? Wouldn't that be lame? A hasty hello. And they're ready. Go pick their first baby's name. <laughs> Pretty much. Paul Jr. Blood. What if we were in that kind of song? We'd look like a pair of fools. Are you so we hear you guys are in love. Each other's <laughs> it's like, why aren't you saying anything? Wonderful aren't you going to talk? Wonderful I'm freaking me out of you. I'm following like dashing young okay, this gotta be a skit or something. <laughs> and you'd be the intriguing engine. In, In a way, way you have to love that, that kind of song. Cause that's how I feel about a car. Happen? Use my snookies. Are you my snookies? Uh, <laughs> what is going on here today? This review is carrying more subplots than the movie. You're telling me well, you're the one who started it. Possibly add any more. Guys, guys, you won't believe what I saw. No! No! Out! 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 No! 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 Don't ask what I'm doing! Get out! 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 With a song big enough to bring people back, but not too big as to overshadow the final song. Oh, okay. You mean like... Yeah. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> One big song Big enough that we leave them on But not so big that we blow our wall Let's rock the viewers to the core, but leave them longing for one more big yeah, last song. Short as yours to take. The no one who zero things about you. Platypus bunny! Let's brave a short commercial break. Hey, why'd you say that? Uh, I guess 
we are far on that one. Sheesh. Time to show off my great voice. Hey, just double checking to see if there's any <laughs> transition or ads, but then again, old school. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Gotta say, loving the music, but still. Eesh. Anyway, back to what I was saying about earlier. I don't know how you break it up, you know? He could do three films. Like he said, there's a lot. So, how would you even, like, go about it? Do, like, say, the build-up, like you said. You know, one half could be, you know, Valjean, you know, gaining, like, his reputation. And the other half could be, you know, the final act, you know, the revolution. Like I said, you'll see what I mean in a minute, but still. Yikes. Yeah, I think breaking them up into two, which back then wasn't that common, but I can definitely see this being worked out better. But what do you guys think? Anyway, let's get back to it. Are you still doing that? Uh, guys, we're back. Hey, so, just... just a recap. Paris is yeah. in the middle of starting revolution number upteen kajillion because they don't okay, like the way the poor are being treated. It's a very rushed way of putting it. If I put it in song, you'd say it was brilliant. Hmm. Eponine sings a song about the friend zone, and Marius sings like he swallowed an oboe. To be struck to the bone in a moment of breathless delight. Judging by his voice, what? Marius is going to grow up to be Charlie Brown's teacher. And what was Arthur wrong Arthur. seems right. <laughs> yeah, already this all builds people. up to the big attack led by the peasants of the town as they set up the barricades all over. Now, in, in the stage version, the barricades are giant, muscle. massive sets, truly something to behold. But in this version, this? they're all squeezed into tiny corners of the town, allowing, of course, to get nothing but countless more close-ups. Because the cinematography in this Again, film is awful, I want to feel emotion for these people, not count how many zits they have. Now, hold on a minute. Now, those shots were done so you could feel the intimacy and the closeness of the characters. Yeah, and besides, there's a lot of other good cinematography in this, like the crane shots, the tracking shots, the still shots. Hmm. First off, the crane shots are only done at the beginning or end of a scene. That's it. Not to mention they all look like they're from a Pixar version of Fiddler on the Roof. Second, the tracking shots are great, but the editing never allows us enough time to show them. In fact, most of the editing in this movie is so rapid that you can barely even follow what's going on. Come on, it can't that be as shitty. bad as all that. No. No. Oh, his turn. <clears throat> All right, Cal, go get him. Bye. Enjoy yes. the cinematography. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, that's his to stuff. About. Doesn't matter. He hasn't had a song yet. Yeah, let him talk. Let him sing. <clears throat> Try again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus. Nice. Sorry. We're gonna have a third one, aren't we? Is somebody doing a musical review? <laughs> go away. Seriously, how do you lock that door? Film is told in a language. Thank you. With syntax and grammar. Some shots Rip. are adverbs. Others are pronouns. Still others conjunctions. You get Where the idea. Every shot has its place. 
every shot has its place. Uh -huh. If you're manning the lens, don't be so lazy and lame. Every shot will look terribly dull if a face fills the frame. Look how the camera wiggles and jolts, and it all looks the same. And so it has been, and so it is written on the gravestone of Eisenstein. The films are shots so bloody boring. Don't stand the test of oh, time. Oh, shots. I'm just doing the best I can, okay? Lord, tell directors how to shoot movies. Make them on par with student films, at least. Tell them how to shoot, how to shoot movie stars. Well, I'm just so glad that I could finally do a solo for all of you. And he's asleep, and he's Should still Should we talk cold. about our interests, or...? God damn it. <laughs> Why? Oh, we're so in love. Really, guys? Not hey, there's bad. a Buffy marathon going on downstairs. Girl power and vampires? Hey. Come on, Walker. Pretty much. So if yeah. the disguises herself as a boy, which is pointless Odd. seeing how there's clearly women in the barricades in this version, mm -hmm. and sacrifices her life to save her not boyfriend. Or <laughs> him. It's all I need to know the train. We'll make the flowers. Okay. That just happened. He, of course, shows his devotion and respect for one that loved him so much by immediately sending a love letter to his real sweetheart. Hey, three's a crowd. But a nice interception by Valjean, who grabs the letter and decides he should go down there to protect Marius, as he might be the only hope his daughter has to living a civil life, given the social and financial status of her father. But not before secretly freeing a captured Javert, as he knows the rebels would most likely kill him. And strangely enough, Crow does manage to act in this scene. For a brief moment, it actually sounds like he gives a damn. Once a thief, forever a thief. What you want, you always steal. Yes, Valjean, you want a deal. Shoot me now for all ah, I got. Ah, there, there he is. So yeah. there. There's the autopilot so schmuck I remember. Yeah. He sucks so much. He has Oscars. Valjean then sings about how important it is to protect Marius, describing him like a son. A son he's only known for a few minutes. Upon Are we sure this one's supposed to be an opera? This is especially disrespectful to the original, as the song was supposed to be sung quietly and soothing. Here he belts it out. Uh, I'll talk later. I'm surprised he doesn't wake up the entire army. Oh, and I suppose Colm Wilkinson did much better. He did much better. Oh, and his awkward lip movements didn't result for hilarious sounds like this. Bring me home. <laughs> Point. Well, okay, maybe not every note was perfect, but I don't. Home. <laughs> <laughs> so so red to the cheeks. Look at him. Still better than Jackman. Uh, oh, I don't know. Jackman never sounded like a vomiting cat in reverse. Home. 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 <laughs> 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 and now, ladies and gentlemen, the Barking Wilkinsons. The next day, it looked. I mean, fair, but who do you think told like Jackman to sing like that? Like, did he think this was going to be an opera, or I don't know? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Could be quiet, but yeah, and the musicals. I think it's pretty much loud, and everyone else just dumb to it, I guess. Right? Looks like our revolutionaries have no chance. You have no chance! In one of the more hey, touching scenes, the young boy Gavroche sacrifices his life to fight for what he believes in. This leads to the final battle between the soldiers and 
the rebels. Oh, I do hope it's all done in close tight shots so that nobody can figure out what's going on. <laughs> Javert looks over the destruction and gives a very tender moment, handing over his medal to the dead boy for his bravery. Now, this really begs the question. The symbol for Les Mis, both the movie and the stage production, is the child Cazette. But shouldn't it be the boy Gavroche? I mean, what does Cazette do? She looks scared Barely and anything. gets married. Gavroche is constantly active, sacrifices his life, and has much more of a character. Why isn't he the symbol of the movie? Because he can't do this. All right. Valjean manages to escape with an unconscious Marius and come across Javert waiting. But Javert is so confused by Valjean's honor and kind heart that not only does he let him go, but he questions his own morals. Is this oh, man, what sort of devil is he to have me caught in a trap and choose to let me go free? God, hearing crow this debate is an off ethics one. is like watching a rock argue with itself. Damned if I live in the debt of a thief. Damned if I yield at the end of the chase. I am the law. <laughs> there is no way to go <laughs> really? Bonk. Really? That, that was the best sound effect I can come up with. Way to kill him off with dignity. Yeah, what yeah. other cartoon <laughs> sounds do you think we could put in there to up the drama? Good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's him. <laughs> so Marius speaks with Valjean uh, on the Titanic. And hell? tells him that he wants Marius to marry his daughter, but he can't be around for it because reasons that are explained much, much better in the book. His frog Cazanthus must be faced. If he is caught, she is disgraced. So Valjean vanishes, and Marius does end up marrying Cosette, just as he finds out the location of her father, and thus goes to see him on his deathbed. Or... chair. Chair, in this case. Oh, you are here. You know you don't have to sing everything, right? Again beside me. And is it me, or does a guy who's about to die actually look better than he did at the beginning of the movie? Hard to say. It is. Put it up. I don't know. Uh -oh. Fontaine? So Valjean finally passes, the spirit of Fontaine is there to greet him, and all the souls who perished are joined again next to the sculpture that even Napoleon called the giant eyesore. Mir has the room gotten a lot less talented. Three, two, one. Ah. Spread the floss. Hey guys, I've been looking all over for you. Are we gonna start this review or what? We would. Yeah, but we're already done. Well, it's just that we kind of um finished it already. Yeah, a little slow, buddy. But but I never got a chance to do my Russell Crowe voice. I warned oh. you I would not give in. I will sing like this. It's really cool. Two, four, six, oh, oh, one. I will sing like this. I am Russell Crowe. La ba -dee -da -ba -dee -doo. Russell Crowe is awful. Yeah, agree. What? He is. Everyone knows it, man. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but a musician trying to learn from Russell Crowe is like a public speaker trying to learn from a mime. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Way off of. Yes, we doing this. Who are these jerks? This group of critical nerds to denigrate Russell Crow and make me feel like a turd. All of right here. Is just a minute Asshole. or two, but no, they won't let me sing. Russell Crow, what would you do? Should I pick fights with random dudes? Should I go start a crappy band? Should I be really hard to work with? Or should I die by my own hand? Damned if I look like a flippity fool. Damned if I look like a floppity tool. This is not just a comedy bit. Either I sing like Russell Crowe or that Escape now from this world. I will live my life today. Now I'll never have my song. I'll 
They did it. Poor boy. So, final thoughts on the movie? Well, I think it's cool. Sorry. Oh, the ghost. Where? This is not me. I haven't done anything. My hands are right here. Oh, boy. I can't tell if this is because something got blocked or I don't know what's going on. Ugh. You know, this is like a thing that's getting blocked. I used the wrong song for this part, huh? I don't even remember what they said. Oh, okay. I'll talk, but I don't know how it is, but yay yeah, yay. Yeah. I mean, it does have its mix. I'll give you that. I think it could be a little better. Photography looks great, but the acting, some bad singing, but definitely one definitely holds up. But what do you guys think? Yeesh. Not even close, but the audience liked it. Huh. Well, Again, what the I hell don't... kind of oh. a conclusion is that? We need some kind of opinion to force on viewers. Yeah, yeah we're back. What's... Hmm? Huh. Do you hear the critics sing? Sing about, about how, how they, they don't, don't agree. agree. It is a metaphor a for life. For life. When mouths are big and speech is free, when the pundits all concur, you need to pinch yourself because you must be dreaming if the happens it never does. Will you draw your own conclusion or give up and follow me? It's all subjective. Just don't be pretentious, that's the key. There's even some people who didn't like Toy Story 3. Honestly, like I said, I don't remember what they said, but I don't even know what music they used that got that part cut out. Huh. Look, I swear, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie, so. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it does look good, but there is a lot of flaws, to say the least. I mean, Russell Crowe's singing, which, yeesh, wrong franchise. I mean, like I said, some good, some bad, but. I think the good's a little less prominent than, like, the big. You know? Like, think about it. You got the I Dream, you know, that one. And then there is just, like, yeesh. But again, nothing's really perfect. What do you guys think of the Minister Rob? The movie here, I mean. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, like, subscribe for more. See ya.